welcome to the XVL1456 Accelerated Mass Weapon. The XVL1456 is capable of delivering high amounts of radiation downrange. Ever want to blow up your opponents? Hello, and welcome to the XVL1456, developed by the Black Mesa Experimental Weapons Division. The XVL1456 is an accelerated tau particle cannon capable of destroying almost any target on this earth, and maybe a little bit beyond. The basic components of the XVL1456 include the barrel, which is made out of solid copper, the tau cannon focusing array, and the accelerator. The accelerator itself is made out of two primary acceleration coils and a tau particle source, which, as you can see, rotates to provide rifling action for maximum range. The energy required for the synthesis of the tau particles and acceleration of these particles is provided by common depleted uranium. Jenkins, come on, man. All right. The energy for the acceleration of the tau particles comes from this tokamak reactor. It's powered by depleted uranium. The base principle of the tau cannon is electromagnetic acceleration of charged particles, namely the tau particles. As you can see from this display here, these two coils produce a 1.8 tesla magnetic field, which then accelerates the tau particles from the accelerator portion to your target. As you know, the energy requirements for any particle weapon are very high. So, to surmount this challenge, the Black Mesa Weapons Annex has partnered with the Black Mesa Anomalous Materials Lab to create a miniaturized tokamak reactor. Uh, this reactor is capable of supplying very, very high pulsed energy that is required for maximum damage. The weapon, once removed from its stand, is extremely mobile and can be lifted by one person with ease. Now the XVL1456 has been designed for military use, which means it is very rugged and easy to use. All you have to do is push this trigger here and a charged beam will shoot out the front and destroy any damn alien. Soldiers. Soldiers, yes. In addition to the equipment seen on the actual gun itself, which includes a convenient carry strap and... You can see that each gun comes with this convenient carry and display stand. Over here, you can see the remote access panel that I previously alluded to. Through it, you can turn the weapon off and put it in a safe state. And you can turn it back on. And after a short startup sequence, where the tokamak reactor needs to establish its operational characteristics, you can read all of the relevant details. You can see magnetic field strength, you can see field current, and all sorts of other interesting criteria. The reactor operates under a Lawson criteria at all times. Now for those of you, like me, interested in the hard science, I can recommend Dr. Isaac Kleiner's treatise on... Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. Listen, Bill, I'm trying to do a video here, you know, to get some funding. I know I can't cut any more of the safety features. I mean, one of these days, I'm just going to blow myself up. Yep. And of course, the button you've all been waiting for, the test fire button. Shall we push it? <laughs> Nothing happened. <laughs> we actually turned down the output power, so it wouldn't hurt anyone here. See, look, I can do anything I want, and it's not going to hurt anything. Radioactive contamination detected. My God, what are you doing? <coughs> mm. 
As I just demonstrated, the weapon comes standard with an overcharge, which can be controlled separately by this knob here. All you have to do is hold down this trigger here, and it will charge the tokamak reactor with an extra plasma that will be released all at once. Now be careful! Don't hold this button too long! Don't let it overcharge! Electrical damage detected. Anyway, thanks for listening to this Black Mesa Weapons Facility demonstration. And have a great day.